Hey there all YouTubers. Today I'll be setting up my vertical stick burner for an open pit style cook. And the way I'm going to do that, I have it with burning oak, applewood, just like I did on the last one, but instead of a water pan, what I have here are ceramic briquettes on this layer right here. The ceramic briquettes are gonna gonna work sort of as a buffer between the the hot flame and and the meat but what they're also gonna do is they're gonna add thermal mass and once they heat up they're gonna kinda keep this keep this environment at a more even temperature. If these weren't in here I think the temps would fluctuate up and down, up and down, up and down. Now with these, adding the thermal mass, we'll be able to keep them kind of steady. What I'm going to do is uh, do a, a pork shoulder and I'll put it on this top rack and we're going to do it in the fashion of uh, a Phil down there, Phil and Florence. Uh, we'll at least try to, but with my uh, my vertical setup here. All right, so down below here, I got a aluminum pan cut out all the way around, and it's cut out in the center. That way, when I open and close the vent down there, all, all the air is going to be coming up through here, feeding, feeding the, uh, the the burning wood. And then I have a piece of uh, smaller expanded metal here, which will will prevent uh, pieces of uh, hot coal dropping down through just the uh, regular grate that's on there. This will help keep keep a nice hot coal bed up top here. Then I could just throw in a throw in a piece, throw in a stick, throw in a stick. Alright, so what we got here is an eight and a third pound pork shoulder. All I'm going it with here is uh, kosher salt. Nice liberal coating here all the way around. Pat that on, flip it over get it on the pit. Alright, we'll get it started. Got a couple pieces of lump charcoal in there and one piece of oak. Get it going. Alright, we'll get a nice fire going, nice coal bed. Got my digital probe up there. Let's get the lid on and bring this thing up the top. Alright, so we got that Eight and a third pound pork shoulder on the pit here. Just gonna let it rock and roll. All we got on there is salt. Got a little bit of a fat cap that's on the bottom. Just all we got is kosher salt. Now it's just a matter of maintaining a hot coal bed, throwing in a stick every every once in a while when you need it. Adjusting the vent if necessary. Closed, open. Apple, oak, and if I need it, some lump. Alright, now it's all about the fire management. Alright, so what I'm finding out here is the pit is liking to run right around 300. So we're going to go <coughs> with between 275 and 300 I'm guessing it's going to be a better temp to run this so now the way Phil did it the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to pre-burn the wood down to hot coals then throw your hot coals down into your pit and then that is going to, to uh, cook your meat so I'm going to leave a link down below and let you see how Phil does it the, the proper way. But what I'm doing here is a little bit different using my stick burner. Alright, so what's happening now is the grease and juices are dripping down on hot coals and it's vaporizing. And I'm guessing that's the magic that Phil's talking about with this kind of a cook. The open pit style. Alright, let's get a look at it after two hours here. 
There you have it. That's what she's looking like. For my spray bottle, I'm going to use about that much water. That much apple cider vinegar. And some Texas peat hot sauce. Let's go... That looks good. Right there. Alright, so after two and a half hours, that's what she's looking like. Just spray it down here. Oh man. That smells incredible. All those juices dripping down. Oh yeah. Alright, let's let it rock. Okay, that's what we're looking like at the four hour mark. I'm going to flip this thing over. Oh boy. Look at that skin come off of there. I had a feeling that was going to happen. That's why we put fat sock down. So getting that probe in there, we're at 163 internal. That's after four hours. It's cooking pretty fast. I'm digging it. All right, so we're at the five and a half hour mark. I'm gonna give it a little spray here. And I think I'm gonna flip it over. Put this fat fat side back down on the, on the grate. Let's see if I can flip this here, holding the camera. Oh yeah, man! Look at look at the color on that. That is looking terrific. Fantastic! The smell is amazing. All right, all right. Internal temp 199. Pit temp 293. Should I let it go to 201? Oh, there it is, 201 right there. All right, we're gonna get it off. All right, so there you have it. Seven hours and 15 minutes later, this pork shoulder is done. All right, so look at that bark and that beautiful color on there. All that is is salt, plain old salt, and then I sprayed it with my water, apple cider vinegar, and some Texas peat. And there you have it, seven hours and 15 minutes later. I'm gonna tent it with foil and just let it rest. All right, well, I let this rest for 45 minutes. Let's see what it looks like here. Wow, looks terrific. Man, Let's see if we get this bone out of here. Still really hot. Oh man, look at that. Clean out. Whew. Man, is that still hot. Tasty. It's even got a nice little smoke ring. How about that? Look at that. That's just amazing. Phil, you know your shit down there. South Carolina, I gotta give it to you. Wow. Look at that. I got myself a smoke ring. And it is so tender. The most awesome bark I think I've ever had. That is ridiculous good right there. And I'm gonna tell you, it's not it's not smoky at all. It doesn't have that overly smoked taste. 
or smell to it. That's just crazy. Man, the bark on here is just tremendous. It's just, look at that. Ah, oh, so good. All right, so what Phil did was he put salt, a little bit of kosher salt, salt the cover, go with that. And then what we're going to do is we want to go with uh, pepper, fresh cracked pepper. Go with that to cover. And some crushed red pepper flake. About that much right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some whole yellow mustard seed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more of that vinegar, water, and Texas peat on here. Alright, Phil cut his up, so I'm going to cut it up. I just wanted to say, with this method here, you get your nice outer crispy uh, bark with a nice smoke ring, and then you get your nice tender succulent pieces of meat all mixed in. Uh, I tell you, this, this is probably the best uh, pulled pork I've ever had with this combination here, uh, this South Carolina style. I tell you, it's so good. And uh, I just wanted to mention uh, Chris Biggs over at Biggs Home Cooking. He recently did a picnic uh, South Carolina style. He made his own mop sauce and he made his uh, own Carolina sauce. Uh, you guys got to go over and check out uh, my man Biggs. He did an awesome job on that uh, on that pork. And uh, I think we have uh, Phil and Florence to thanks for this. And uh, I just got to tell you, brother, the, this method here, this open pit uh, style, it, it's just uh, just blowing me away, brother. So, uh, thank you.